Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Faxman Plays. Oxygen not included. I mean, Foxygen not included. Sorry. Beg my pardon. I almost forgot. Um, how's it going? How you doing? I've got some stuff to clean up today. Some bad stuff. I, I'm not proud of the last episode. I think uh, a few more things happened than should have. Um, some slime lung occurrences that really shouldn't have happened and... Uh, I got a little sloppy with some wiring stuff up here, made some incorrect assumptions, I don't even know why, but anyways, I'm here to try and fix it, and, um, yeah, so, there's a couple things I could do here, um, some people have suggested to enable to, let me just hit play here so we can actually see what's happening, um, a few people have suggested that I widen this so that the water level generally goes down and then we can actually just go in here and fix this pump. But kind of what I would really like to do is get it lower down if possible as well. And I think the only reasonable and quick-ish way to do that and avoid further catastrophe of like getting more slime lung around is to um, just get a couple, even just one exosuit. So that when they go up this way, they have to put it on. I'm going to dig up here. Dig down here. Just get in there. Do the work. Get out. So that's what's going on. Another thing that was mentioned is, hey, you ding dong. Get an ore scrubber. And in my def I, it's not really a defense or... It's a poor excuse, but it's just ignorance. I thought ore scrubbers were only good for scrubbing, like, ore. Like, copper ore, iron ore, so on and so forth. Apparently, you can use them for whatever. Let's see if I can find where it is. Where it at? Where the heck is it? Okay, it's not ventilation. Oh, it's right there. Sorry, my boom arm was in the way. Kills a significant amount of germs present on raw ore. She mined resources before bringing them to the colony. So... Again, in my defense, it doesn't really clearly. It doesn't really clearly state that. Um, so that's one thing that I'd like to do. Problem I have here is. I guess I could just raise up this. I kind of want this for now, just right at the entrance here. So anytime they're bringing stuff back, they got to scrub it. But it means we'll have to raise this up, which is really not that big a deal anyways. So that's something I'm also going to do. So let me just go ahead and... Got a door there. Remove these guys for now. And just do it like that. Because we don't really need them there. Still got to get rid of this natural gas, but... I'm not opening this up now until... You know, we've also got a lot of... Where is it? There's more... Yeah, there's still a, some polluted oxygen in there. It's fine. It's fine. Um. So what I'm going to do... What's the temperature over here? How much abyssalite do I have? Yeah, okay. We don't have to do it super far anyways. We'll just go... I mean, really, let's just bring it like this for now. Start like that. Let them clean that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this exosuit for now. And I'm going to get tricky with it. I was looking just before I hit play, before I started talking and recording and all that jazz. It's like, how can I actually get it so that they will, like, where could I put the suit and the checkpoint? 
so that they have to use it to go up here. So what I'm thinking is actually kind of blocking off this right around here, digging this out. For now, we'll just put a ladder up here, but eventually we can kind of make a proper floor here and have more stuff. But for now, we'll just dig out this little bit, put a ladder, and then put the exosuit uh, and the, the checkpoint right around here. So basically, if they want to go up here, they've got to come up this side, walk this way, put it on, and then walk up and then walk up. Temporary-ish solution, but um, it, it should work. In my head, that... that that works. Um, yeah. So let's also just get um, we'll go like this. Get rid of that and then dig out. Really don't need to do much here. Um, and that should be that should be fine and then how much refined copper 275 so can I make a checkpoint takes 100 oh okay so let's rotate that Put it like so. If it is decayed, that's okay. You know what? I'll just, I, you know, I'm just going to build another dock here and then I'll move this suit over there. Yeah. Okay. Another thing. I'm also going to just, I think, fill this with chlorine pos. Well, now that I'm going to get the scrubber going, I don't really need to. But I think kind of long-term-ish, I still wouldn't mind doing that. And then we could maybe just get rid of the scrubber altogether. One less thing on the power grid. What are you making that funny face for? Chilly surroundings. Oh, no. It's not that cold. Is it cold in your suit? Is it from the water? I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. This is getting colder, though. This used to be, I think, like 15 degrees. This is going to freeze at some point. Um, still not worried. I was thinking maybe we, we could still we could put a tepidizer in there. I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. I have solutions. I have the best solutions. Let's hit play. And then, just tile you up. Okay, so now, can I say, I guess they'll just grab whichever one maybe? Oh, unlock, uh, undock. I'm I'm an idiot. For some reason, my brain was just not recognizing a second option there. Okay. So let me also just check something here. I I'm not I'm not worried. I just like to be in the know. Eleven thousand. And, uh, let's let our buddy eat some food. Alright, so this is done. Now all I really have to do is set up the power in the oxygen, which would be relatively easy. And... Uh, 
I'm just going to be lazy and do this. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's keep with the theme. So this oxygen, right? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, pretty easy. And again, as I've said in the past, I know I know some people keep bringing it up, but I am going to have more electrolyzers and I'm going to have them all producing the oxygen for like all this era. We're going to get a nice and temperature controlled. Um, but I'm not going to do that ideally until after we get this this water set up, you know, unlimited supply of water. Because we're actually getting to the point where we, we can't live off of this water for two much longer so that's why I really need to fix this wait Why are the buttons switched here? Huh. Anyways. Um... Let's just start this test by saying, do this. So there is a little bit of chlorine there, which I'm not crazy about, but it'll go down here. And that's okay for now. It's just a bit. The hydrogen should stay up there. We can always seal this off again as well. Yeah, so let's... Actually, you know, it's not going to be pretty, but I think there's hydrogen behind that. So what if I do, like, instead go up like that? And then this little pocket of chlorine should just stay there. And then we come in here. And then I'll go, again, just to preserve the little pocket. Go down like that. This, yeah, we'll put this at a seven. There you go. Look at that. This is not really charged up. I don't know how much oxygen's in there. Go get your materials. You go, Roberta. Yeah, I should maybe change that, but what was that? It's fine. It'll take a little time, but again, I think this is kind of worth it. Oxygen-wise, not a lot going on up there. Or in here. Doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be. Here, right now, doesn't really need to be because they're in the exosuit. Guess we could get uh, a little bit more airflow tiles, possibly. But it's it's a low-down priority. Got to keep our priorities straight, which is just getting a steady supply of water and cooling it down. That's the other thing. This guy is not alone enough. It took, like, this... 58 degree water and cooled it down to 44 degrees so doing the math it reduced the temperature by 14 degrees so I'm thinking if another thermo aqua tuner reduces it by 
another 14 degrees. That's 30 degree water. Definitely more tolerable. I might be okay with that. I'd like it to be 22, 23. But I'll take 30. Certainly over 44. I don't even think 44 is the end of the world per se, right? They're not going to be like, oh, this is too hot to shower in. But it's, it's, it's getting up there. It's getting a little toasty at that point. Unreachable. Now, why did they say that? Unreachable dig. What's so unreachable about it? It's right there. Do they not have enough ladder to get up there? I don't know. Oh, maybe that's it, because they can't transfer like that. Ah. Pretty sure that's it. Find out on tonight's news at 6 o'clock. If that's not it, I'm... I'm, I'm going to cry. Was it just saying that? Why would you just say that? Alright, they're too idle. So... I could... Wait, let's check. We've got six reed fibers, so I can make another suit. And then how much... We don't have to refine much more copper. I could, I could make another one of these guys and then we can always just move them later yeah that'll give our our currently um this will give us 50 right so we've got 65 so that's that's enough all right so we'll do that Still got water. I mean, there's, there's some water here. It's a shame. I mean, they do have to go a long ways just to get the material. Alright. Well, while some of them are doing that, we should finish this business up. So, just, you know what? It's effectively three wide. I mean, it doesn't have to be right at the entrance, but. Let's just go like that. about to break through broke building broken oh yes it's that guy yes that much i know insufficient slime are we actually at a we oops so we've used up all our slime where am i looking organic I mean, much, we have 174 algae. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. I think we got to mine some more slime. It's slime mine time.
So we say... Well, all right. Let's get... Go get that stuff. There's a little algae in here, too. Just make sure there's some natural steps. Okay, so that direction. Oh, do I need to uh, fill this with chlorine? That would make a lot of sense. No cast intake. I'm going to assume it's chlorine. So what I can do is just make use of this guy. No fuss, no muss. And power. Um, I think I'm we're probably. Is that oh that wire we didn't remove. Um. Oh, wait, it doesn't need power. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I guess it, why does it need power? You're just putting chlorine in a barrel and letting the item go in the barrel. Okay, but like... Do that. Because I told you to. I'm your boss. Do it or you're fired. And for now, we'll also say, get that stuff. Uh oh. Well, at least we're, we're producing a little bit there. So that's a start. Let's check in, see our sweet, sweet little babies. 45, 32, 48, 37, 41, 45. Nice. So last time we checked, we were a couple or around 11,000. So. That's good. We've uh, more or less eliminated the problem. Go get the goods. It's an empty pipe. So you guys can reach that. So now we'll say that. Now that you've mined that. That's dribbling down. We're okay with that. We've already polluted that area. Yeah, but like... Hurry up. I know another suit would really help it. And I think... I started making one? I did. I did see a putty... Putty cat. Putty... How does he say it? I thought I thought a putty cat. <laughs> Never ever allow me to say that ever again. Okay. Little more power, which is probably the biggest problem here is for But they're not always using that little table there. This pump's not always on. It's only on actually for a short amount of time until these guys get filled up. Which is pretty quick. And plumbing? Nope. Ventilation. There you go. It's a little I mean they're half done the job, but a 
whoopsies hit my mic uh but still for now it's fine like i said we've now we've got it made so if we want to move it somewhere else we can go ahead and do that we've got that luxury check on the water water's fine i mean that'll do us for several cycles the problem is you want to you want to get ahead of the curve you want to be proactive you want to do it before it's a problem foresight I love this room so much. I love the Atmo sensor. That's so cool. Alright, we're almost there. So let me take a quick look at the power situation. Actually, you know what we should do? Is we should just... Yeah, deconstruct. Get the power again. Uh, I'm going to deconstruct, like, all of that, and then just put it right here. Put this guy there. Liquid pipe. I, is there really any reason to have it insulated here? Well, you know what? It wouldn't hurt. Actually, I probably made it out of abyssalite. That's why it's not insulated. So, how are we doing this? This is the go down line. Which they still haven't finished. Why? We'll get that sorted out soon. But, it's basically, yeah, let's just go up like that instead. There you go. So we'll, we'll seal this up after just in case. You know, I'd like to keep the water in here. But now we've got a bit of an access. Can they reach this far over? I'd like to deconstruct this. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly, but at the same time, it's, it's ugly. I don't think they can. I think I'll actually have to build another ladder. Just like. Went like that. Then I think they should be able to do that. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. While we're in there. Although, that should be an 8. Okay, bring you up, baby. Did I do the actual plumbing in there? Yes. And now I can tell them to sweep up this stuff. We got some, uh, some goodies down there. Look at that! Northern Lion knows how to do it. It's like a hamster wheel. Except he's on the outside. Probably thinks he's a big old hot shot. I don't think we really need that one actually, but... Unreachable, my Tukis. You're in a suit. There we go. Uh, you know what? Again, while we're down there. Do we have a place to put the pinch of pepper? These are full. For now, let's just say you can go there. 
It's not it's not uh Jeremy anyway, so Okay, I want to get a Weez Warp for this. I want to build another one of these, which they'll be able to do with ease because um, we can deal with this stuff. Now, the problem here is that they'll have to take it like over here. They'll get a little bit of exposure when they're carrying it. But I think it'll be okay. Basically what I'm going to do. That's like fairly important. Because now this is going to happen. Not a fan of it. But again, it'll go away. This is actually a problem. I forgot about this. Because this is not in a chlorine zone. Uh-oh. Again, the germs are going away. I'll disinfect it. That helps. But we got to keep an eye on it. See, look at that little polluted oxygen. What am I going to do right now? Deal with that mofo. So now, tile. Get that tile done, then do that tile. P, eight. I want this done quickly. Once I get this done, I'll deconstruct it there. Probably want to put a little more water in, but I may also just see how it does with a little less. Okay, and then the last two, which I can do at the same time. There we go. I love that. Good job, Josh. Is that a little redundant? Yeah. But I'm okay with that. I'm good with redundant. Alright, so P... Sorry. K8. Sweep that all up. Oh, yeah. Also do that. Well, I keep giving this priority 8, and this is priority 7, I think, so. <sighs> Again, just double checking. See, the slime lung is going up, which I knew was going to happen, especially when they have to carry it all the way down here. And this is... How is this still an issue? Unless, did they mine some out here and use it right away? Am I crazy? What's in here? Clay? Here's what I'm going to do. Okay. 
You can have... Okay, sedimentary rocks can... Wait. Huh. It's already clay in there. That's gonna help. Okay, that's done. So we wanna remove that. Place another thermal aqua tuner, which is gonna be a bit of a problem because it's. It's gonna mean I gotta get another one of these transformers, I think, pretty much just dedicated to that. Take a look at our power. So, if I set up, maybe if I just hooked up three transformers, is that going to work? I'm going to find out. You can let me know if uh, that's silly, but what I'm going to do, because this guy's not connected to anything. I got to I gotta remove these doors, actually. So what I'm going to do is connect this stuff to this guy, and then this guy can just connect to these guys. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is deconstruct that. We're going to replace these guys with walls. I'm going to wall up this guy for now, too. Why not? Okay. It's getting hot in there. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, a little slime long left, which will go away. And this stuff as well should go away. Why have they not done this? Because it's a low priority because I've been manually setting everything else. Okay, we've gotta, we gotta do this quickly though because a lot of the seed is gonna escape. So this guy will just go like that. that you go like that power conductive like that yeah I get that one done quickly now quickly now You guys are all stars. Everybody's putting a, an A in for their effort, except for Josh. Josh is a little stressed, I suppose. This is set to ten. We're set. I'm putting this back up to twenty because, Josh, we we need you right now. Somebody, please. Do I not have enough? Oh. I don't need a ton, so. I think that's enough. Each, each segment takes um, 25, and this will give us 100. 
75. So we'll have some left over. Because the heat's getting out. Just do it before you get to bed. That's all I ask. What is decayed? That's A-OK. -okay. All right, it's done. Plug it up, plug it up. Thank you. Okay, so now, what do I do? We wanna build this guy. Is this gonna work? I have a feeling I'm about to make another mistake by doing this. Uh, these guys can handle 2,000. That's right. Shoot. So what I have to do is basically... Disconnect. Well, but I did 1,200 and 1,200 on two. Well, but I don't really know if that actually still works because this basically had a meltdown. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Oops. Okay. Do this. Does that work? It's going to be ugly, but for now, I'm going to do it this way. Wait, you know what? And cance cancel that. Deconstruct that. Why don't I just have... This guy control this dude. I think that'll be a little bit more manageable. So how will I do that? I know how I'm going to do it. Okay. Power. Conductive. So this will just go straight across like that. This guy will come up like so. And then this guy will go... I don't want to use any more of this than I have to right now, so I'm just going to go like this. We'll clean up this wire later, but they're hardly ever going up here. When they are, they're wearing a crazy hazmat suit anyways, so, you know, they're cool with it. Okay, so this will go like this, and it'll run up like this, and I go boom and boom. Yeah. We'll give that a shot. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Um, cancel that. We should make that out of gold. Which I do not have enough of. Not a problem. 
per se. We also need to make sure we're getting a little more slime too. Oh, they've got plenty here. They've got plenty. Well. Yeah. Insufficient? You're probably right. That'll give somebody something to do. It's just, it's slowly cooling down right now. Um, it's hard to tell, but I definitely think this hallway is getting a little bit better already. Just from this insulated tile here. That was a great suggestion, by the way. Thank you very much. So what we can do in the future is just like put doorways if we want on the backside here and just have a, have a ladder to access, but... Really, yeah, there's not much reason to go into them right now, so no real reason to have a door. Alright, get her done, dudes. I'd like to see this work in this episode. That would be nice. Um... I'm going to go ahead and uproot. All right, we got the gold. I love gold. They should be filling that up soon. All right, this as well. Look at these guys running. That's true, they are gonna be running a lot more uh, I didn't really think of that. Once we get all this stuff set up, we're... Wait a minute. Ah! I was wondering why that guy... At first I was scared. I was like, are we not producing enough electricity right now? No, it's just this guy. We'll get him sorted in the morning. Fabrication. That's fine. Um, lights. Okay. Look at that. So what's the temperature? It's already like sucking it up, man. Obviously it's gonna heat back up again once these guys are running, but Okay, how are we doing the germ front? 3100, not a big deal. 2000, 38, 32, 56. We got a winner. But uh, again, that was from mostly from this exposure here, which we have eliminated yet again. There is that 
bit of oxygen there. Okay, so. Yeah, I kind of want to fix that up. Um, let me think about this. I've got five idle dudes. Is the plumbing set up here? So basically, I want the water to go through here, and then I want it to go into this one after. I don't want it to go into both at the same time. So this is going to cool it off a bit, and then I'm hoping this will cool it off a bit more. So what we need to do here is this, this, this. Actually cancel that bit there. So see if this works. I'll be mad if it doesn't. But, you know, I'm putting in the effort. Oh, baby. And it's on like Donkey Kong. So wait, what's, what's happening here? That's right, this. Oh, it's unreachable because I only did that. Get it, get it done. Okay. So this water at 30 degrees. I know how to do math. Now it's 28. That's okay. If we did one more, it'd probably be too cold. Oh no. So, um, yeah, it's definitely too much to have. Well, when you think about it, why don't we just... We've got two Transformers for these two, so instead, all we really need to do is have one per Transformer. Is what I'm gathering. Okay. Because, yeah, I mean, I get it. 20 They're both going at the same time. 2,400 watts. These lines can only k handle 2,000. It makes, it makes sense. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Actually, what's unfortunate is that I tried to get away with it. You can't argue with science, man. Science will win that fight. Every freaking time. Um, my main beef is like, see this setup, it works well when you're kind of servicing this floor, but this is a little different. So it's going to look a little sloppy for now because right now I just purely function, purely function. I don't care quite how it looks. So let's get a little bit more of this going on. And fix it up. Because it's just going to break in two seconds. There we go. 28.5. 28.3. It's getting a little... 28.2. 20... Is it actually getting a little bit cooler? So now it's broken. That's fine. We've proven. So this is all basically 
assuming this water, if this water stays around 60 degrees Celsius, that's fine. But if it starts jumping up a lot, then, uh, then we might have to get a little more intimate with this setup. Alright, so what I'll do here for now is... Go like that. Um, Okay. Like I said, it's going to be a little ugly right now. But, uh, that's what we got to do. Meat! It's what's for dinner. But, hey, here's another thing. Lesson learned, everybody. Write it down in your book. For the next colony, now I kind of, I know a little bit more about the setup and what goes into it. So, when we're doing our starting framework here, we can kind of modify it a bit and, and account for this, this sort of stuff. And that way it's not going to catch us off guard. We can have a nice clean base from the get-go. I'll have to do all this building and then tearing down and then building again and tearing down and building again. I hate it. I hate it. I hate you, Ron Burgundy. I hate you. <laughs> Your poop. Your poop mouth. Uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a problem. Can you not? I thought you could reach that. Uh, maybe it's just because we haven't told them to oh uh, you know what's gonna make your trip a lot quicker this not a ton 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 quicker but a decent amount So remember, 38 was the highest amount. And was that Roberta? I think it was. Okay. So they actually, some of that was algae that they took just straight to the algae land. Although, this is escaping. I don't really like that. Or is that always there? There was a good amount in this area previously. So maybe that's just uh, leftovers. Alright, insufficient copper? I don't believe you. That should be enough, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Actually, we only need 2, but you know what? We'll use the leftovers for something else. It's a temperature. I mean, this ran for a little bit. Yeah. Let's help him. It be, I mean, if we had more of these going on in here, for sure. I, w I would like to get a... I'd like to get more. Let me put one on the other side here, eventually, if we expand this a little bit. Alright, so we're going to get, like, one more cycle, because we just want to get this fully up and running, and have a steady flow, <laughs> a heavy flow of, uh, of nice, sustainable, fresh water that's cooled down to, you know, 30 degrees. I mean, if I'm the 
feeling thirsty. 30 degree water is not the greatest for drinking. But I'd take it. If I'm living in this environment, heck yeah. Maybe let it sit out a couple minutes. Go down to, cool, to room temperature. But for now, they're getting 30 degree water. Actually, 28 degrees. Those two degrees, that makes a big difference. All right, whatever. You can finish that when you want. We'll, t we'll tidy that all up later, but... It'd be nice if that happens. Yeah, they do have to go a long way. <laughs> if you just built it, we would have saved so much time by now. Ah, uh, I hate having to tell them to do their jobs. Don't tell me we don't have enough copper. How did... What else did we use it on? This area over here is weird. You see the polluted water dripping down, and it's, yeah, it's crazy. That's interesting. Did we do it? Okay, no power. What you talking about? Am I crazy? Why? Okay, why is it doing that? Plucked in there. Hmm. What am I missing? Wait a minute. No. Do I need to add another one of these guys? I'm I'm a little confused right now. I mean the batteries are full. <laughs> a little bit at a time. I, I, I'm sure it's something extremely simple that I'm missing, but it is also late at night, so I have a tendency to be a lot slower.
I am very much uncertain. Well, I think what I'm going to do for now is say this is kind of like a half victory. It, it was working great when they were both just connected. Oh, wait a minute. 1,000 jewels. Um, okay, so I'm yawning. I think Is it thousand watts, thousand joules, but it's 1.2 kilowatts, so technically we need... So a transformer can only handle up to a thousand joules. So maybe that's why we actually need two transformers for each one of these. So... Well, technically, you might be like, well, now you're effed because of this setup. But, but, also, I need to close this off. Um, that's letting out a good amount of heat. Also, we got to sort this out. That's freaking hot, man. Well, again, the heat. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't be shrugging it off like that. But um, what we do, actually, if we go back to power. We just make this room and this room a little bit longer. These are three wide. So I'm not going to do this now. We're going to do this in the next episode. But I'm just basically getting it ready. This one, uh, I'm going to kind of not go all the way because I still don't want to release this and deal with that. So what we'll do is basically it's only going to be like a half room for now. Go like that. Take out this, put the battery back here, add another transformer, connect them up. I think that solves the problem. And same thing for this one. Although we can go all the way up. What am I? Oh, wrong screen. There we go. Go like that. Go like that. Bob's your uncle. I think that should fix it, but I'm going to take a break, and uh, I'll see what you guys have to say about that. You might still say, like, no, that's not going to fix it all, you big dummy. You got to do this instead, in which case I'll do this instead, whatever this is. Um, but if I am correct, then I'm happy that I figured it out or realized it myself. Not that it, I, I'm not patting myself on the back or anything. Um, you guys have given me plenty of feedback and, and hints and tips and all that stuff, so hopefully I'm retaining some of it. Um, but anyways, I'll, I'll give that, I'll give that a go, I think, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so now that's got me thinking. Girl, you got me so man. Oh yeah, you really got me now. You got ah. Uh, what if? That'll work. I still have to have the two separate though because the conductive wire can still only handle two thousand watts. So really, only one machine. Two, two there, two there. Yeah, 
That should work. Um, okay, so if that does indeed work, the next episode, what's happening? We'll do that. We'll do a test. We'll we'll observe and report, and hopefully start filling this up with the good stuff. Because look at this is like it's gone down a tile since this episode. That's okay. Kind of close, but we'll be fine. We'll make it happen, Captain. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get this pumping next episode, and then we can pump some of this stuff up here. Also, trying to think, is there a reasonable way to cool this water? You know what? This tile might slowly help cool the water a bit. I don't know, maybe not. Not, yeah, no. Uh, okay. So yeah, slowly start filling this up with the water, pump it up, and using that. And then, once we know that's working, I'm gonna finally take some time to remodel this area up here. Um, we'll just change this all to abyss light. We're gonna make this longer. We're gonna remove. We'll move these docks for now. Actually, I might even move them up here. Um, and basically we're going to get a few more electrolyzers going on, a few more gas pumps, we'll start, you know, start out slow, but we'll get them and then we're going to start to pipe that throughout our main base here and then have vents at strategic points to deliver some nice oxygen and also we have to make sure we're cooling it down. So that's... I'm not saying we're going to accomplish that next episode, but that's that's what we really want to start doing is is actually getting off these algae deoxidizers uh, for our main source of oxygen production and move on over to the electrolyzers just because we've basically got an unlimited supply of water here. And since right now our colony is only six duplicates, we're not burning through a ton of oxygen anyways. So this should be more than enough. Although I've been told there's a second... On every map, there's two water geysers, so um, in time, I would like to expand the base. That'd be cool. But again, every day, every cycle, from like cycle 100 onwards, has been like my fur furthest I've gone in this game cycle-wise, for sure. Or just in general. Um... Which is cool. So I'm excited. I think now we, we certainly have a shot at 200 cycles. I wouldn't have really thought that would maybe happen with this, this colony. But, uh, you know, it's okay. We've had some struggles along the way, but I've learned a lot, which is really cool. <sighs> so that's all I got to say. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. Let me know why you disliked it so I can try to uh, do something better uh, for the next episode. And then hopefully you'll like that one. And then you'll give it a like because you said, hey, I actually like this one. Uh, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing and hitting the little bell notification button just so you can be aware of when new episodes are, are good and ready. You have them, have them right there waiting for you. And that's about all I got to say about that. Thank you guys again for your, your support with the series and all the awesome feedback and, and just comments in general. Let me know how you're doing today. It doesn't have to be anything about the game. I, I like hearing about your days. It's nice. Makes my makes my day a little bit better too. Just putting that out there. <sighs> Touching moment. <laughs> all right. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, peace out.